I'm sure you already know how many cool things you can do with CapCut, but with graphics animation, you will put your videos on another level. Let me show you how to do it. We will start with our first easy animation. Open CapCut and create a new project. Import the grid background, sound and the clouds with the rain. You can download all the PNGs that we will use today down in the description. Or you can also go to Canva, click on elements and search for the sun. Choose graphics and if you want animate the sun, you have to go to filter and click on animated. Always set the background to green. Drag the grid background on the timeline and just the ratio of course depends on your needs and scale it. Go up to the adjustments, scroll down, set the brightness to minus 5, whites to 15 and vignette to 25. We will also add the black noise effect. Go to effects, find black noise, drag it to the background and set the speed to 20. Drag down the sun, go up to the video, cut out, chroma key, color picker, click on the green color and drag the strength slider to 100. Scale it and set the position. Drag down the clouds and place them above the sun. Go up to cutout, chroma key, color picker, click on the green color and drag the strength slider to 100. Scale it and set the position. Now we will use keyframes to make animation interesting. With clouds highlighted, move your playhead to the beginning, drag them almost completely outside of the screen, set the opacity to 15, Click keyframe on opacity and position. Then go approximately 40 frames forward, drag the clouds on the middle, set the opacity to 100 and keyframes will be created automatically. Click on sun, turn the opacity to 0, click keyframe on opacity, then go 20 frames back and turn the opacity to 100. So if we play it now, we have something like this. Let us move to our second animation which is airplane animation. I already imported the earth and the plane. If you don't have them, go to the link below and download them. Drag the earth above our background and remove the green screen. Drag it up, rotate it a little bit, move it down and resize it if you want. Go up to text, add default text and write dash plus space a couple of times. Then scroll down and set the character to minus 3 and if you need you can add some more dashes and spaces. Scroll down, click on curve, set it to around 150 degrees, resize it if you need and drag it down close to the earth. Stretch the dashes line to the end of the video. Right click, create a compound clip, go up to mask, choose horizontal, rotate it to 180 degrees, pull it down so you don't see the lines and set the feather to 4. Move the playhead to the beginning, click on keyframe on rotation, then move playhead to around 4 second mark and rotate the line to 0 degrees and keyframe will be created automatically. Move to the beginning and drag the plane above the lines. Remove the green screen, resize it and rotate it. Go a few frames forward so you start to see the dash line. Move the plane so you see the line behind his tail, rotate it and click keyframe on position and rotation. Move 6 frames forward using arrow keys on your keyboard, move the plane forward, rotate it a bit to match the dash curved line and keyframes will be created automatically. Now continue that process till you reach the end of the line. When you're done you can also add the airplane sound effects for even better effect. Move to the beginning, go up to music, sound effects and search for jet plane sound effect. Click plus sign to drop it down and adjust the length of the sound.
If you like it till now, I would be really happy if you hit that like button and help me my channel to grow. Let us move to our final animation where we will create a nice progress bar for better day. We will add text first. Go to text, add text, write your text, choose font, I will make it capital, scroll down, click on glow and adjust the settings. Pull it down to the bottom, make it smaller and stretch it to the whole clip. Now we will create a line. Add text, write dash a couple of times, go to character, set it to minus 3, add some more dashes if you want, rotate it to 90 degrees, scroll down, turn off uniform scale and increase the scale height. Scroll down, click on glow and adjust the values. Stretch the line to the whole clip, right click and create a compound clip. Move to the beginning, go up to mask, choose horizontal, rotate it to minus 180 degrees, set the feather to 4 and pull the line to the bottom so you don't see it and click keyframe on position. Move your playhead almost till the end, pull the line to the top but not all the way because we still want to see that feather and keyframe will be created automatically. Now we will create a few dots which will indicate stages in our day. Add text and write dot. Increase it, drag it to the first stage on our line which will be somewhere here, scroll down, click on glow and set the values. Move your playhead to around this point, drag dot to the playhead and stretch it to the end. Go up to animation, choose fade in and set it to 0.6 seconds. Let us also animate our first text, highlight it, scroll down, choose mini zoom and set it to 0.6 seconds. Now we want for this dot to change the color when the line gets to it. So we need to duplicate it. With the dot highlighted, click on Ctrl plus C or Command plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V or Command plus V to paste it. Go up to basic and choose the color. I will choose blue. Go to the beginning of the first dot, go two frames forward and drag our second dot to the playhead. We need three more dots, so copy these two, move them up drag them to the second stage and repeat the process to the top. Then highlight the last dot and change the color. The last thing we need to do is add some more text to our stages. Copy the first text, change the text, drag it to the second stage and align it to the moving line. Repeat the process for the other stages. You can also change the color for the last text. Move your playhead to the end of our background, highlight everything and click on W to cut the right parts. And this is how it looks at the end. Thank you for following and see you in the next one.